1921 Ford Model T Depot Pack. Thank you, Hayden. Paul Rosenblum from Kansas City, Missouri was driving a 1928 Ford Model A sedan. John Rosenblum from Pomeroy, Iowa with a 1961 Ford Thunderbird. Woody King left from Spirit Lake with a 1929 Ford Model A two-door. Dean Hammond from Spencer, Iowa with a 1929 Chevrolet. Pete Knutson from Pocahontas, Iowa, with a 1947 Dodge pickup. The two and three quarter ton pickup. Dean Hammond from Spencer, Iowa, a 1947 Studebaker M15A pickup. Thanks for bringing that up. Here's a Buick ambulance, the 1968 Buick, and it was one of Albert City Am Albert City's ambulances. Here's a 1998 Chevrolet Corvette convertible. A 1971 Chevrolet Corvette convertible. Our next one is a 1947 Willys Overland Jeep CJ2A. A 1956 Chevrolet Corvette convertible. This is a pretty rare car. They didn't make a lot of Corvettes in that time. This is a 1948 Willys Overland Jeepster. Here's a Crosley station wagon. This is a 1948. Here's my favorite coming, one thing coming up here. This is a 1973 Volkswagen thing. And I just don't think they could think of another name for it. Jim Anderson from Denison, Iowa, with a 1930 Ford Model A. It's a Murray body, Murray body four. This is a 
Benny Lindgren driving his mule, because that's all he'll tell us, with the Albert City Freshman, and on there is a class of 1968. Let's give these guys a round of applause. Albert City class of 1968. Kirk Sisters of Scranton, Iowa. This is a 1962 snowtrack ST4. This was made in Sweden in the 60s, soon in the early 80s, used to transport this in deep snow. Andrew Pullman, with his horses. He's an auto in the world, so we call the information. Gary 
1966, hey. Kaiser Jeep uh, Corporation, military mule, M274. Driven by Woody Winnell. This is Randy Koenig with a black and white, a black horse and a white horse. He's a potato digger. He takes care of the potato fat. Let's give him a round of applause. Well, kids had a great time. Nice work from the bar, by the way, with a shire team. There's Colin Johnson from Albert City with a 1923 John Deere Waterloo Boy. kids in the world. Don and Dark Stein from Wolfstock and Wilman, Iowa with a 1923 Altman Taylor 3060. Uh, 
Bob Jondal from Manson, Iowa with his Altman Taylor 3060. Don's been here for many, many years. Rachel Green from Dennis with a 1932 Cape Steamer. And they've been working all day out there. <laughs> That's a 1932 case scene. Rachel Green from Denison, Iowa. Steamer. Here's a 1938 Ford 8N pulling an Altman Taylor water wagon with a hand pump on that. Harry Tondo Mosbo from Sioux Rapids with a 1972. Cup Cadet 149 with a miniature Parker wagon. And Alice Chalmers 712 Hydro with Aiden Saunders from Lorenz, Iowa, the 1978. Cody Jandle from Manson, Iowa with a 1970 John Deere 112 garden tractor. With some little hoppers in the back. Terry Canson with a farm ball, 140 high clear. Ray Christian from Ruthven, Iowa, with a 1940 International Harvester P farm hall. That's a cultivator, it's set off on the side. Calendar, Iowa, with a 1951 Ford 8N, with a Tedgard Sea Plow. Dennis Hawk from Sheldon, Iowa, with a 1953 Fox Police, purchased new in 1953 from his family. Max Saber 
Faber from Alva, Iowa, from 1857, International Harvester of 450. Bob Frederick from Humboldt, Iowa, with a 1958 International Harvester 560. This is a tractor owned by Dennis Holgrave, with a 1959 International Harvester 460. And the next one is also owned by Dennis, a 1956. International Harvester 300. Dr. Anderson from Elvis City with a 1945 International Farm Air Weight. He uses that weekly for his morning business.
Thank you. 